Hello everyone, welcome to the Wednesday Preview. James Broadhurst with you and joining me is Hayden King. How are you, Hayden? Going okay, James. How are you? Good, good, good. Looking forward to this weekend of chasing coming up. Highlighted by the heats of the Dawesville Cup at Mandra. That's on Friday night. Why don't we have a closer look at those, Hayden? We've picked out two that we wanted to forensically analyse. Let's kick off with the second heat down there. This is race four on Friday night. Dawesville Cup heat. We have a look across the field. Weekend two, box one, ultimate command, Box two, West on Finn. Box three, Balotti Manelli in four. Five is Launch Control. Six, Aztec Kid. Box seven, Sunnyside Boy. And box eight, Special Gun. Thought the main chances here, Hayden, were in the middle draws. West on Finn has been winless in his past eight starts and he's yet to win at Mandra, but he should be right in this one. Really big effort to run second behind Granite Song in the 520 metre free to all last week. Balotti Manelli last in the young stars last week but he took on electrified in those early stages didn't he and if he'd been able to get the lead i think that race could have panned out differently i think this dog uh, is still one to follow i'd be interested to see how he goes on debut at mandra launch control been pretty good over the 405 and given he does his best work late you'd think he'd be more suited to the 490 record hasn't necessarily reflected that as of yet the lemon probably does him no favors here and aztec kid well has been showing mixed form uh we'll see if he's up to this level but he did have that impressive win in 27.58 two back and i think he should be considered here what do you think yeah well i think it is a tough test for aztec kid but i called that race there at mandra and he did a fine job there as you mentioned, most of the action toward the central stalls. West on Finn. Phineas, he's going pretty well. Phineas, our man. Um, <laughs> he's knocking on the door to win one. But as you said, Bellotti Minelli, he showed up early there last week in the Young Stars and he was threatening to get across lead and it really could have been a different story. He's a quite a capable dog and had he been able to find that room into the first turn, he would have been very competitive and shuffled out to last, spat out the back, never really a factor. Providing he can jump as well this week, gets that room, he'll be a very, very tough nut to crack. So that's the way I'm going. Yeah, I agree with you on this one. I, I, I like Lottie Manelli. I'm happy to put a line through the result of what happened last week. I think this dog's got a lot of potential. Looking forward to seeing him go round on Friday in that heat. Let's have a look at one of these other Dawesville Cup heats. Hayden, this is heat four. And out of box one here, Mick Flash, your boy, uh, gets the pole here. He's one of four last start winners in this race. And of course, uh, big advantage with the pole here will generally give his rivals a sighter early, although he has jumped uh, pretty well of late. Is he the dog to beat in this one, or can you see something else bobbing up to, to knock him off? Yeah, I definitely think he's the one to beat Mick. The Flash. Barry Allen. Be yes, Barry, Barry Allen. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, have you ever watched Catch Me If You Can? I... Leonardo DiCaprio. Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. He uh, says he's Barry Allen's secret service in that okay. movie, and he makes the great escape from Tom Hanks. <laughs> A very elusive One man. for you DC comic hey, fans if, out there. If you've never watched Catch Me If You Can, watch it. I watched it for a year nine English thing, <laughs> but I actually really enjoyed it. Generally, when you watch those movies in class, you're kind of like, oh, I don't really give a... But, right. really good movie. Anyway, okay. yeah, Mick Flash, uh, excellent last week. Dash clear, scored a comprehensive success, and providing he jumps just as well here, it should be the same result. He meets... A lesser lineup, probably. Um, there's a few capable dogs in the Handy race, jobs, but yeah. he's contested some much better races than this, and if he's anywhere near his top, he'll be winning. All right, there we go. That's the word from Hayden King on that Dawesville Cup heat at Mandra on Friday night. Of course, we have five of those heats. We swing our attention to Cannington on Saturday night. And Hayden, I thought we'd have a look at race four here. This is the Stayers Series race over the 600-metre journey. A lot of 600 metre racing, that's pretty prominent at the moment, isn't it? Uh, anyway, this is another one of those races. Before we have a look at that field though, let's go back and check out Hurricane Taylor's win from last week. And here he is in white, jumping well and securing the early lead. He's been really good since returning from injury at the end of last month. He's now won his past 
three in a row. Hurricane Taylor never really fully puts them away, but he's out in front for the entire journey. Azuki Minnelli gets within a couple of lengths, but Hurricane Taylor is pretty comfortable and goes on to win in a very nice fashion indeed. I think he's got a good chance to lead once again here, Hayden, but he is going to have the likes of Jimmy's decision, Pilbara and Columbus chasing him down. Does he just uh, repeat the dose here or one of these other dogs bob up? I think he'll be very hard to beat, James. Hurricane Taylor. Three on end is never easy to do and he was very stylish winning that race last week. I thought he did a really good job. He said he never really put them away but I thought he was a comfortable winner. Yeah, he, he, well, he, there was always an opportunity there. No, 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 none of the other dogs were capable of taking that opportunity. Mm. But yeah, he, he, he was he, running good time. He was, yeah. Time. Yeah, so... He, I think he'll probably lead here, and I think he'll probably take the beating. There's most of these dogs, aside from maybe Wooden Hands or even Sunset Givenchy over the 600, most of them tend to come from behind, like they Columbus, do. Minnelli, uh, Maruga, Scorpion. Jimmy's decision wasn't the best in Destride last week and used that mid-race strength to his advantage, but he has led over the 600 in the past. So I think if Hurricane Taylor got that uncontested lead, he'd be winning the race. Jimmy's decision kind of has the runs on the board and these kind of races, and then you've got that additional strength of Pilbara, just a case of where he gets to in the run, really, and how much of a head start he's going to give them, I think, over the 600. But there's a lot of capable dogs in this race, so if there are any chinks in Hurricane Taylor's armour early, then there are a few there to exploit it. Pilbara, I think, probably prefer him over the 700 rather than the, yeah. the 600. You're right about Jimmy's decision. Possible chance to lead this one. Does have box eight, but uh, if anything's going to take on Hurricane Taylor early, it will be Jimmy's decision. Good win by that dog last week, of course. And we've got Columbus Melly, a bit of a, a wild card sort of a dog. Hey, let's hear what Morgan Turner, the trainer of... Columbus Minnelli had to say about this race and he said that it's a very hard one but we are boxed well and have been on the safe chase lure system before in South Australia so hopefully that's an advantage. Okay so Morgan mentions there Hayden the safe chase lure system that is a new system that has been put in at Canton its first race meeting for the safe chase lure will be tonight uh, the Wednesday night, but of course it, that's, that's the same uh, system that's been put up in Northam over the past couple of months have been working there. So a lot of these dogs may not have seen it. Not sure how much of a difference it will make, but uh, there will be a, 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 just a slight change for these dogs to have to adjust to. And uh, Columbus Manelli, having contested that South Australian Derby series a few months back, uh, has already been on this system. So maybe that's an advantage, maybe not, we'll see. Do they have like a bank vault attached to it? Is that why it's safe? <laughs> it is safer. It doesn't use the cable and uh, a little bit quieter, they tell me as well. So a safe chase lure system in operation at Canton from Saturday. Now, I don't think it's going to make a huge difference, but just, just some little things, you know, just little changes to the routine. You know that uh, dogs will have to adjust to. Hey, got to send a shout out also to uh, Pete Brown, and he posted about this on social media. Hayden, he had three winners on Monday: Citizen Cyril, Zulu Finesse, and Petite Parton. That's Cyril. Uh, you can see on screen now. Not. Pete. So he also brought up his 100th win for the season. Good trainer, really good guy. I know he loves his cricket. I'm sure the celebration was something along these lines when he brought up the ton. <laughs> well, um, Pete, not only can he train, but he's also good with alliteration. Citizen Cyril and Petite Parton. I know. Good one for the race course to get the tongue around during the heat of a race. All right, we are racing at Kangton tonight, as mentioned. 11 races kicking off at 6.45. It is, of course, free entry, as it is every night here at Greyhounds WA, so make sure you get along. The weather's coming really nice. The nice, warm evenings. For how was the, the next how were the fireworks here? The fireworks, they were in the distance oh. on Saturday night, you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, well, I was in Northam, so I was really in the distance. I had the binoculars out, but <laughs> okay. I couldn't quite see. Yeah, yeah, fireworks. Not sure what they were for, uh, but we did hold up 
uh, briefly while they were happening. But uh, well, good night out here on Saturday, as it will be tonight and indeed next this Saturday coming. Hey, listen, what's your best bet for tonight, mate? Race six, number one, Youthful Spirit. Hasn't raced in six, seven weeks or so, but those two runs at the end of last campaign, I guess we could say, really good. The win was quite emphatic. And then the last run, I actually thought... He was a little bit below. He still ran 22 seconds, but I thought he was there going to win the race. Traditionally, he does like to use a bit of the track, so that was no different. But he uh, sacrificed the initiative there late stages and ran a good second. He is a wide runner, but often these wide runners, when they draw box one, it's not such a bad thing providing they can jump because they get that room down to the inside as well, and then they get the option to use a bit of the track. So... I think if he jumps well, he'll be very hard to beat in a lineup like this, and he's at a healthy enough price. So, race six, number one, youthful spirit. All right, I'm heading towards race eight, number five. Elevation generally does her best work highballing it out in front, but uh, look, we saw a bit of strength from her last start when she won over the 600 metre journey. Uh, look, I think box five is going to be okay for her. The dog in box eight has early speed, might come across and challenge, but if Elevation's able to get clear and not get any interference, she's a small dog, so looking to get, you know, not looking to get involved in the argy bargy early, and if she's able to get clear, uh, I think she'll be able to go on and do really well in this one. So race eight, number five Elevation for me tonight at Cannington and Hayden. That is the show. Done. Done and dusted. We'll catch you next week on the preview.